Welcome to this presentation on using Google Document Headings. My name is Greg Krauss, University IT Accessibility Coordinator at NC State University. So why are headings important? First, headings help screen reader users easily navigate your page. It lets them skim the content of a page without having to first read all of the text on a page in order to understand the basic overall structure of the page. Second, it's a requirement of the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 2.0. These are the standards most widely used to design accessible online content to ensure that the maximum number of people will be able to access your content. So what are the steps to properly use headings in Google Documents? First, use Google Documents built-in styles toolbar to denote headings within a page. Don't simply change the font styling to denote headings by making something bigger or bolder. When you actually go to the style menu and choose a bit of text as a heading 1 or a heading 2, what you're doing is you're changing the code underneath the page to actually say this is a heading, not just this is something bigger and bolder. That's the piece that needs to happen in order for assistive technologies like screen readers to take advantage of that feature. And remember, if you do customize your heading styles because you don't like the default styles, remember there's a step you have to go through to actually update your custom heading styles. One nice thing about using headings in Google Documents is that anytime you denote a heading within a Google Document, if you export that to another format like Microsoft Word, those headings do carry over to those other formats. So let's see this in action. So here I have a sample Google document that is really just plain text and I want to style it up to make it a little easier to read. So if you've never used headings before, your instinct is probably just to come here and here's the title. So I'm going to make that you know, bigger and bolder and maybe I'll center it. And then here's some text. So you might make that a different size and bold it like that and go forth and that might be how you want to make your headings except when you're doing that all you're really doing is changing the font the way it visually looks you're not actually telling the document hey this is a heading so I'm going to undo a couple of these steps here so the way this should be done is if I want to make the title here my heading one I'm just going to select that text and in the style menu here that by default says normal text I'm just going to choose heading 1. And you'll notice it gets bigger and bolder. That's because it's choosing the default style for heading 1. We'll, we'll look at how to customize that in just a sec. But here I've got several sections that I also want to make headings. They're not as important as the title, so they're not going to be a heading 1. I'm going to make them a heading 2. So I'll choose that and choose heading 2. I'll come down and choose the next one for heading 2. and so forth for all of my heading sections. Now if you're happy with the default style that's all you actually have to do and you've now put headings in your page and so if you export this to a Microsoft Word document or copy and paste it into something like Dreamweaver the headings will carry over with that and you, you retain all that accessibility information. But let's say you don't really like these default styles and you want to change them a bit. So I'm going to start with these heading twos. Maybe I really want each of these sections to have an underline to them too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text here and I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a heading two and I'm going to now change the font characteristics about the font properties. So I am now going to just choose to go ahead and additionally underline this so it's a heading two with an underline now. But now I have a heading two down here that actually didn't change. So if I want all of my heading 2's to look the same, what I need to do is I'm going to click back here on my heading 2 and go back to my style menu. Now in heading 2 I've got a submenu that will pop out and I can say update heading 2 to match the selection. And when I do that, now all of a sudden all the heading 2's will have the same underlined look to them. So similarly if I wanted to change my heading 1, maybe I do want that to be centered. Now here I'm only going to have one heading one so it's not as critical to update the style but it's still a good thing just to get in the practice of doing. So I'm going to go ahead and update that so if I do apply another heading one it will be centered as well. And just for consistency here I'll go ahead and center that text. 
So now when a screen reader user accesses this document either as a Google document or as a Microsoft Word document or whatever you whatever format you put it in, they'll have access to the headings and they'll be able to quickly skim the page and know here's a section on ICT accessibility regulation, accessibility training, website redesigns, campus system updates and they'll know that without having to first read the entire page to figure out what the content of this page is.